if I was gonna it. smash anyone who's famous, who would be the best dick? Young Thug. Oh my god, he's so fire. <laughs> okay, Young Thug, got it. He has such a big dick. He fucking oh, yeah? tore bus. What's the worst dick? London on the track. London Smallest on the track is not happening. Maybe, Maybe academics, academics too. too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time. <laughs> can't sing but welcome to the show babies pillow talk is brought to you by jerkmate jerkmate is the world's largest and best loved adult cam and live chat community in the world jerkmate members can chat interact and explore their sexual fantasies with thousands of beautiful cam models worldwide you can quickly find your dream model with hundreds of different categories and tags you click right through it you find the one you love her personally i love the colombian ladies i chat with them every single night it's safe anonymous and very interactive with millions of members online and exciting news i am hooked you all up i got you guys a promo code where you get ten dollars free to play with on jerkmate so you're gonna get money to go on the best site in the world i did that for you guys if you check below use my link to claim this once in a lifetime prize again that's free money we're giving you money to go on the best site in the world enjoy that and with that money we're giving you guys you can use gold to tip the models you can request one-on-one -on -one private shows that's my favorite that's what i do every night and can trigger connected sex toys jerkmate.com never jerk off alone again so check it out boys it's literally the best fucking site in the world you know I don't lie. I'm obsessed with jerk mate. Go check it out. But first, let's get to Pillow Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Ryan Pownall, number one adult show in the world. We're on Fuego. We're here with Jerk Mate. And the man who got us the Jerk Mate deal is in the room. It's actually Viking Barbie's partner, as people say in 2024. And we love him dearly. Thank you for connecting us because Jerk Mate is the best site of all time. <laughs> also, also, number three comedy part of the world. world. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in every week. We check the comments. Let us know who you want to see next. Back by popular demand, right, oof, running up the ranks. Kazumi was the number one co-host girl, and now pff, silver medal for Kazumi. Kazumi? <laughs> <laughs> What's going, going on? on? This is what I think your fifth appearance on the show. I think maybe, maybe fifth, fifth or, or sixth. Fourth or fi no, no fifth. This is my fifth. The fans love her. Viral every time. This is the queen. A lot say the hottest girl in the world. Oh God. Artist. <laughs> Horseback rider, singer-songwriter, model, former wrestler's daughter. Because he's dead. <laughs> adult entertainer. Yes. Viking Barbie. <laughs> Welcome back. I love your intros. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you woken up? I'm wo I, I mean, I'm getting there. Okay. I, we need to talk more about necrophilia and then we'll wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and our guest today... Oh, we've been wanting to have this one on for, for many, many years. She's always in the tabloids on the cover of TMZ and such like that. I don't know what you are. <laughs> she uh, what said is, she was a whore. Uh, oh, yes. A whore. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm not a porn star. She's not a porn not star. Not a porn star. But she has dabbled mm -hmm. in the porn world. She's oh, Adam. Really? Yeah. No, I've I actually I've, wanted to ask about that. I've jerked off to a few of your <laughs> yeah, leaks. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. You have? Yeah, the leaks you are everywhere. You him for a few weeks? No. <laughs> so romantic. The leaks are all over. you got to up your DMCA. we got to talk. I just did that. Okay, good. Anyways, this is our guest, Selena Powell. Thank you. Selena, what are you? What do you mean, what am I? I'm a podcaster. She is oh, a singer. I don't know. I'm just Selena. I just go with the vibes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you you say I'm not a porn star. No, I don't think I'm a porn star because I don't go on like browsers, like Bing Bros and stuff like that, you know? Right. She's okay. not doing professional. Yeah, I don't do professional yeah. like lights, camera actions. I've only done that with Adam. But I feel like Everything I've seen else. black dick also in some oh, of your yeah. vids. Yeah, I do only fans. But it's like all oh. the guys like I want to fuck. Like, okay, you know, in my like personal life, we just do like iPhone shit. I've never had like a camera crew, like, except for Adam, amateur so, porn star, I guess, you know, but it, still, like, I don't know. I guess I am a porn star, then fine, <laughs> <laughs> fine, I'll take it. I'm like, social star. media star, um, I guess, star fucker, I don't, know. I, I don't really star know. fucker, that's hot, star, I like star that fucker. Does that insult you? <laughs> no, star fucker. And no, being a porn star, being called a porn star doesn't like offend me either. I just don't think I am. So okay, I I'm hear not gonna that. say I am. I don't say I am. I either. love porn stars, like duh. But <laughs> but you almost feel like you're I putting one? down the other girls that are actually doing the work and doing all the movies. Yeah, like, like was I invited to the AVN Awards? No. Right. Right. Did I win? Am I nominated? No. Right. You're not a porn star. If I'm a porn star, bitch, I'd be winning awards. You're like a pornet. Mm -hmm. Like a pornet. Did you like doing the scene with Adam? 
Yeah, his dick is fire. He's yeah. got a good dick. Yeah. yeah. I think huge. you said you didn't want to at first beforehand, no. and then you like. I always wanted to. It was Lena who wouldn't let me. Oh, really? And Lena wouldn't let you Lena why? hated me for years. Oh, yeah. Because I called her a porn star. Well, I'd say Lena's a porn star. Yeah, well, I called. Well, this was like when they first started doing like. Okay. She was like, she was on Snapchat or something. And like, I was so new to this world when Adam got me, and I did like my first ever podcast with him. And then. I don't know. I was just like fucking everyone that was famous. And then I was like, it's your turn. I want to fuck you. Cause like he had clout. Oh, and he was like, I have like a that. girlfriend. <laughs> he said, I have a girlfriend. I was like, so she's a porn star. Like, oh. I didn't think. Oh, okay. That's, so, that's not yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. I would hate you too. No, but I didn't mean it. Like, whatever. So then Lena hated me like for the longest. And then one time I was on the podcast and I was talking about fucking Adam. She called mid podcast and she's like, stop talking about fucking my husband. It'll never happen. Oh. Wow. And then she got fucked this by good. Jason Love. And oh, all. okay. And I was like, so he gave you a hall pass, give him one. And then she was like, okay. So and you were like the hall pass. Yeah. I thought that was a storyline. That's actually no, real. It really happened. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It really happened like that. Okay. Well, I'm happy for Adam in a, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. So was Lena pissed with, that you guys finally fucked? Um, I don't know. It was so like weird. Like I showed up on myself. She came and then we did like our little pictures or whatever. And then he was just like, we're going to fuck, but, like, I want her to stay in the room and, like, like force her head on my dick. He and wanted Lana to stay in the room and cock. Uh, just for that. Just for that scene. And then I was like, okay. And then she has to leave when we fuck because I was uncomfortable. Okay. And then she did that. And then she's like, okay, I'll let you guys leave. And then <laughs> he only lasted, like, three minutes. I was pissed. Legend. His that's that's a fire, that, that's though. a compliment to the chef. Don't girls like that? You know what I mean? I, we were I I actually talked seeing. about this when girls are like, "Oh, I like when a guy doesn't last very long." Yeah. I mm -hmm. feel like that's a double edged thing because sometimes guys like don't last minutes. because they're they don't care about mm -hmm. your needs. But oh, then right. sometimes guys last extra yeah. long with chicks they really like. You know? Yeah. See, I'm very confused about that. So I think he I didn't last because he wanted to smash really bad. Yeah, he was just excited. <laughs> for sure. You know, Thank he's you. finally in that pussy he's been dreaming of for yeah. three years. You, know? well, you, yeah, licked, you licked his fire. asshole, right? Oh, yeah, I did do that. I forgot about that, yeah. How was that? Was it sweaty? Well, I they we went over do's and don'ts, and she said, don't come in here. And I was like, take away all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was ovulating, too. I was like, we can have a great storyline, y'all. Yeah. Oh. No, I saw the vision. Wait, you're, so not like, on, okay, you're not on the old... Hell no, I love cream pies. If you don't come in me, I'm not fucking No, I mean, you. you're not on, the, uh, on birth oh. control? No. And and you want cream pies? Yeah, every day. So you're <laughs> you're trying to see if if you can like catch is, one? Yeah, I like to play you know Russian roulette. <laughs> <laughs> and, and is that I because you know the f pregnancy kind of arouses you? You want to get or do you want to have a baby? No, I don't really know. Yeah, see, I was talking about that with my friend the other day. Imagine if I had a baby right now. Like, I don't think I'm ready for that. Like, right, that's too much like commitment. a little wide receiver. That's too much commitment. Oh, yeah. Really. I don't think. Can you take care of like a guinea pig? No, like <laughs> I send my dogs like their grandmas. Like I can't. I just like me like me me time. You know. Oh, yeah, really. no time for your son, of course. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would need like definitely like the father to be around, and then a couple nannies, and then all right, I'll have one. So how many abortions have you have you had? Never had an abortion. Oh really? Mm. So what's never, this? About maybe the fertility is not. I mean, I faked a bunch of pregnancies. You faked pregnancies? Yeah, a bunch. Okay, so what happened with Offset and Cardi B? <laughs> yeah. what, what was that? That was like the biggest one, but I also faked one with um, Fetty Wap. That was my first. That's how I got known. So you faked he a pregnancy? He used the one eye on you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so no, how come you fake pregnancies? What's the, what, what? I don't know. I was just bored. And so, then, so you go online and say I'm pregnant with Fetty Wap's baby? Yeah, I was... No, that one... I didn't know, like, about the blogs or anything like that. And I fucked him, and then he was, like, ignoring me. And I didn't really know, like, celebrities be doing that. Okay. I'm from Colorado. Like, nothing exciting ever happens there. So then <laughs> I just, my homegirl got pregnant. I was like, let me see that. And then I took a pre picture of the pregnancy test, and I tagged Fetty Wap. And I woke up, and I was slim down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually Literally, like, just like, like, like sex? That. Is it, like, actually a thing, or is it more, oh about, God, I love sex. Uh, more about the conquest? <laughs> Mm. No, I love sex. Okay. Especially when I'm ovulating. And then what happened with Offset? You were like, let's run it back? No, with Offset, um, it was kind of complicated. So I had a boyfriend at the time. Huh. And then I do a lot of like dumb shit when I have a boyfriend. Like, this is probably why I'm not a wife. So, <laughs> so I had a boyfriend at the time and he was pissing me off too. 
And like he got with another girl and I was sad and my homegirl was pregnant again. This girl, my friend has like 20 kids. So <laughs> <laughs> literally, so she was pregnant at the same time too. And she was like four months pregnant. And I was like, who did I fuck four months ago? And it was offset. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay. While he was with Cardi B. I, that, I don't think they were public. Okay, but yes. They were in public, but everyone has like spectate. They, they're preg- they were together. Mm-hmm. And then I was actually the one who exposed that she was pregnant because his manager <laughs> called me and she was like, you're stressing Cardi out. Like, it's not good for the baby. And I was like, a baby? Right. And I was like, Cardi's pregnant. And then months later, she revealed she was pregnant. And I was like, told you. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, wait. Nobody believes shit I said. No one ever believes me. I, I believe you. I believe Thank you. God, but not the internet. Hey, let's just commit to this, okay? Respectfully, though. I don't give a fuck. Everything we say today will be the truth, right? Oh, yeah. I don't lie on podcasts. Okay. Wouldn't I, I be sued if podcasts. I was lying? <laughs> I'd be sued if I was it's lying like about church. anything. So. Yeah, yeah. I've never gotten sued. I've gotten threatened, but no one has so ever done So if I was going to smash anyone who's famous, who would be the best dick? Young Thug. Oh, my God. He's so fire. Okay. Young Thug. <laughs> got it. He has such a big dick. He fucking oh, yeah? tore a bus and paid me. Wow. Who has the who has the worst dick? London on the track. <laughs> London Small on the track is not happening. World. I'm sorry. Summer, Wa- Summer Walker, like, I take all Summer Walker's boyfriends. She has the worst taste. Who's all the fuck is Summer Walker? Lil Meech. London on the track. We're going to see her Friday at Rolling Loud. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> if I get beat up, just let it happen. I want a lawsuit. So what, does Summer Walker hate you? <laughs> Probably. We, I don't know. You fuck all we her never boyfriends? Talk- we never talked. <laughs> I don't know. When that happened with them. Oh, she actually did answer the phone with Lil Meech, but, like, she just showed her face and hung up. Mm. And I was like, Daddy. And then she can go. But let me, okay. If I'm a celebrity and you're going around fucking all these guys' lives up, Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you're hot. But, like, do I really want that fucking mess? You know what? what? So that's why I feel like I Men love to be stressed out. They love it. You know when I was getting fucked by somebody and they're like, I just want to see what all the hype is about. I was like, oh, rude. Right. But I guess that's true. They want to see what the hype is about. Yeah, so it's like one guy got his life ruined and he's like, I want to see if this is life ruining pussy, you know? Yeah. I mean, like... How good is your pussy? I don't know. I want to try it. Well, you don't like my my people. Oh, no. I want some chads. I could put put producer Terry in. He's one of your people. No, I want chads. Yeah, she's racist to her own kind. (laughs) I am not racist no more. After Adam, I was like... "Mm, I'm kind of down now. Okay, so, so that three minutes got it. you. It kind of indoctrinated yeah. you. Yeah, so who are you thinking of fucking this weekend? You're in LA. Oh my God, what's the what's the? And you're at a rap <laughs> festival. <laughs> this is, hey, this is Christmas pressure. for Selena. I Literally, I can't wait. <laughs> Rolling Loud? This is Selena weekend. I don't know. There's just so many options. Like, do you look at the Rolling Loud, you know, the roster of, of who's performing, and you're like, okay, oh, he's on a small stage, not fucking him. Oh, Post Malone's headlining. I don't understand the small Might give him a hand job. I don't understand... That that's why rolling well like freaks me out. I don't know about stages and backstages like that. I don't know about nothing. I so you wouldn't consider yourself like a groupie? Oh no, I definitely was a groupie. I used to like in Denver, I used to wait I would go on like promoters' pages and see like who's coming and I would go to their page and DM them, wait like two days. If they didn't reply, I'd go to like their following list and DM like the DJs and the managers and then still like work my way in and like I would have like friends. So I give to like the people and then I does anyone to have like really bad hygiene because that's what my stink? fear is no I don't think I've had I kind of like it I kind of like a little stank stank yeah, yeah girls stank like stank stank dick cheese mm-hmm. is hot got it yeah. it's in right okay but I don't know I don't think like I had some like some crackers <laughs> I don't think I had like terrible encounters like that and are you are you like are you good in bed like you give good blow job pillow princess or more like i'm a pillow princess I oh, think. okay yeah right like i just look good i, can, I no offense yeah. i can kind of see that like yeah, all this hype can. and then you get in bed with selena and she's like i mean what is she yeah. supposed to do though i feel like, like i don't like to get on top i hate it really hard and really bad i don't like it and at all <laughs> do you get blow jobs every time yeah i suck it to get it hard you have to be like my man or like i have to like really like be obsessed with you to like suck your dick like that actually after I like it, but I really don't. Okay. I'll suck it, get it hard, and then be like, okay, fuck me now. Can you deep throat? Yeah, I can deep throat a little bit, you know? Mm. Okay. I'm just Not trying to get the much. idea, yeah. No, I just, this is terrible. You know, I su- want to stay on camera, like, yeah. I'm going to hype yeah. myself up, but I don't think, I mean, my sex tapes are out there. You, do you think I suck good dick or no? I, I, I'm a booty guy. I like your reverse cowgirl booties. Uh, and on the leaks, there's always ads during the blowjob part. Yeah. Like, fuck, Wait, are you jacking fuck. off to ourselves? The leaks, yeah, only. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the free so stuff. So you didn't buy anything. Zero. So gross. Yeah. You could have just asked me. 
<laughs> you know what? It turns me on to go through the leaks. To get the free stuff. Yeah. There's something about stealing the talk. Yes. You really I jacked off to me? Are you just saying that to make me happy? Like three and a half times. Three and, and a half? half? Yeah. The third time I didn't Who make did you come? move on to? Midway. I think it was you, buddy. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Sorry, dude. And my boy Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> You stole my I'm like, man. he's such a good yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, I have three times. I couldn't do the Adam one. I, Why? Because it's Adam? Yeah, know? I don't know. I just couldn't do so it. It's That's like a podcast people. thing. It was he's more, like, oh, this is weird. It was like, more, yeah, research purposes. Because yeah. you like him, right? Yeah, you I like Not you like him, but like you know him. Sorry. No, I like him. Adam. Yeah. yeah we're, is we're it cool. because you know him you couldn't like do it? No, I've done some of his plug talks. But when I was watching you guys, it was like Adderall business mode. But I saw you with some black dicks. The only thing is. Yeah. White people like to jerk Here's, off to white POV porn, and black people like to jerk off to black POV porn. Yeah, I know. I heard you say that before. So I was like, damn, I'm going to have to fuck Oh, yeah, white if you guys. fuck some white guys, then you get a whole new audience. That's the thing. Yeah. I'm going to do that. That's why I'm looking for right my Right now, your target boyfriend. audience is only black people. you got to be more diverse. I'm sure there's you think? black yes. dudes still watching. Because you. we pretend it's our dick. Yeah, I know that. And I know I don't and have also, a young I don't really dick. have solos. I need to start doing solos. you got to do more solos. you got to get the torso, reverse cowgirl on the torso. We like those. Okay. You know what? Inspiration? Viking Barbie. Very good at OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Creative. She doesn't talk. like pussy, though. That's the only problem. I can't do it. I, do, I think it's disgusting. Even if it's really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it at all. But when you're grouping, isn't it always like, oh, we're three girls on one guy type shit? That happens, right? Oh. You no, just, never. Just, like on the tour bus, it's like, oh, yeah. I'll take you've never done like a group thing with other girls? With those guys? I've had a threesome with like my ex-boyfriends. That's and nice. like, I don't think, yeah, only my ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend, you mean Antonio Brown? No, I've never gave him a threesome. Oh, why not? I don't know. I, I think my first threesomes, like, with my ex-boyfriend, like, just scarred me. Because then he still, like, kept, kept in contact with the other bitches. And I was okay, like, no. see, that's the rule. They do it. Yeah. And they I have like the it. boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, no eye contact. So just I kill the girl anyone. afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get offended when like men just be like, bring your friend. Or like when they see me and my bestie together, they'll be like, I want both y'all. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? No. Like, I get that. That's a no. Yeah. That's how you get poison in your oatmeal. I don't like that. Like, I don't <laughs> like the entitlement. Like, I don't want a man to think he's like that person. Like, I'm good. Right. But if they don't ask and they're like, you know, just, yeah, or if just I'm a drunk. simple, sweet. Just I a simple guy, yeah. you know? I can see myself, like, <laughs> fucking with a girl and a guy, like, when I'm drunk. When I'm drunk is, like, the funnest time. Yeah, I feel like you're a little crazy when you're drunk. I'm drunk and so much fun. Oh, so you said you were only make-out gay mm -hmm. when you're drunk. Yeah, when I'm drunk. I mean, I, I can kiss you sober. I can kiss girls. But, like, to fuck, oh, my God, I'm so nervous. I don't even think it just goes you to me out. Like I think I'm nervous. You don't like going down on like, pussy? I'm scared. Or, or the idea of getting a girl to oh, go down on you? both. I'm scared. What if the girl has super masculine energy and we can pretend oh, I you, can, in you can. Oh, okay. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah, actually? I let a bitch <laughs> fuck me in prison. <laughs> a bitch? Yeah, I have her name tatted on me. I'm everyone's. Well, name it sounds like me. there's some gayness in there. You made it seem like you're yeah. not. She looked just like a guy. It was freaking me out. So, wait, you were in so prison? So, if I pull the hair back yeah. and put a mustache on. <laughs> All right, bitch. All right, fine. She want to fuck. <laughs> so, wait, you actually did go to prison? Yeah, that was a real story. For how long? Like three months. And, and you're in there and you, you fucked up an inmate? She fucked me. Oh, wait, what? what? Was it like, like a, a strap boy. on cucumber? It was like socks put together and then aluminum. What is that thing called? Aluminum foil? No. The white clear thingy. Oh, uh, saran wrap. Saran wrap. wrap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then like Vaseline, it was fire. Wait, so was socks like, with saran wrap? Yeah, I was getting, it was, either I was going to fuck the guards or the inmates, and the inmates came first. Because <laughs> I wasn't going through much without sex. Was fucked was she, she was your, like, your cell buddy, your cellmate? No. So where'd she fuck you? She w So like you're in like pods and it's like one pod, two pods, three pods. And you're not allowed to go through the store, but you know, we criminals, we did it anyway. And then we would meet and then when the guards, because like the guards control center is right here. When the guard would like be looking at that pod, we would run over and then I would run upstairs. No way. Go to her cell, get some dick. Get some get, socks. Get some sock. <laughs> Get some dick and Was that like a reusable downstairs. thing? Because I feel like it would be a one time. I mean, deal. I hope she only used it on me. Ugh, I don't really want to think about that. Well, I didn't. I never thought about how do lesbians fuck? You know, because us dudes, we just do Liam's I mean, type she's shit. So fun. Dude, she like really <laughs> thought she was a guy. I thought she was a guy too. The okay. Way he, she like really put it like right here. Like, what dude, was her like, technique to strap it on? Or did she? I didn't don't know. She just held it. I think so. Yeah, that's kind of weak. I don't really know. I don't know. She liked the it. The cell was dark. I don't know how she did it, but it was fire. And did you? Like, cause she like taped her window. It was dark. 
And w what's in it for her? She's fucking with a sock. What? I don't know. I'd always ask her. It's hot fucking like, a like hot it. chick. Yeah. If you like hot chicks. Because she was like a touch me on. And I was like, oh, I love that about you. It's kind of just like fingering someone. No, yeah, I, to you, I totally like get to be it. Touched it's, at like, all. Like, it's like you want to look at a hot chick and you want to mm -hmm. see her in pleasure. That's some gay she shit. She's so fire. And she's just like a dude. I love her. So then you Free get out her. I'm like, <laughs> she's a murderer. <laughs> she, she was a murderer? Yeah, she's a murderer. She that's, killed her wife. That's hot. She killed her wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not laughing at that guy. How'd she kill her? I don't want to. Huh? How'd she do it? She shot her in the face. Oh my God. We're trying to leave her though. I was like, mm -hmm. well, that sounds like she was asking for it. <laughs> no. Well, that, well, was, that's your, that was your girlfriend. Oh, that was my bitch. You definitely him. have a type. That was my man. What was mm -hmm. her name? Joyce. Well, her real name is Paulette, but I called her Joyce because that's her last name. You go by last names in prison. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had two, actually. But I didn't fuck the other one. <laughs> but the other one was growing a dick. It was crazy. Growing I saw a it. dick? Growing mm -hmm. a dick? Excuse like, me? the clit was going out, and it looked like a dick. And it was like... Oh, because she's taking... She told me to suck her dick. I was like... Suck her little... Yeah. I was conflicted. I was Did like, you do it, though? Up. I was conflicted, but I didn't do it. We almost got caught when I was about to do it. I was like, thank God. Hey, how many hot girls were in your prison? Were you None, like just me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And it was a bunch of, like, butchy, like... No, there was, like, old ladies, <laughs> and then there was, like, the crazies. There was, like, baby killers in there, serial killers oh, in there. Oh, shit. It was crazy. Yeah. And what, what did you do again? You just didn't pay your taxes or something? Oh, no. I didn't do that. Um, okay. That was a whole I other thing, to, right? I went to... No, I never got in trouble for not paying my taxes. I'm a taxpayer. Okay. okay She's guys. a taxpayer, Ryan. But there's but something. No, I went to prison <laughs> because um, I violated my probation for stealing a car. You stole a car? Mm -hmm. When I was 18. Oh, that's it? Mm -hmm. But then I ran from probation. And then when you, like, there's only like a certain amount of things you do. So if you run pro probation, they put you back on probation. Then I ran from that. Okay. And then like, you just go to jail. I mean, you, you go to prison. Yeah, prison. Mm -hmm. You ran from probation? You just left the probation. state or whatever? Yeah, I started a whole new life in Miami. And then you got out and then you were on house arrest, right? No, then I was in a halfway house and nobody knew I was in a halfway house. Okay, because they gave um, you your phone. Yeah. And you're still... I was, I was living like a normal life. Like I would just post like old pictures. And like I got out and then I opened up a salon just like get out time. And then... Like you'd be getting fucked by a sock and just be posting that you're on a beach. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Yes. I wasn't getting fucked in the halfway house. Unfortunately, I okay. had no dick at all. Let me ask you this: Did, so the, did the prison guards were they hitting on you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of them hit me up as soon as I got out of prison. It was crazy. That's respectful. That's I, super I put, good. Yeah. I feel I put, like that's I put, good. I slid my number under like this girl's room, and the guards were watching me. And they went in the room and like cleared out her room and took my number and then texted me. Oh. And I was like, no, y'all didn't give me a phone when I was there, so suck my dick. Because my girlfriend, when um, she was in I jail, she said that the guards were fucking the girls and mm -hmm. trading drugs. Mm -hmm. And that, See, that I, was I would have fucked for something. I was like, they're useless. They gave me like gum and like. I'm not like sucking dick for dumb gum. Shit. Like dumb shit, because you can't even chew gum in there. Like <laughs> I don't know. And then they try to make me work, and I was like, oh no. I chew on some pussy. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> was <laughs> that crossed the line. I was like, no. <laughs> they made me work. I had a job in there. Ugh, terrible. Wow. I couldn't what, what do was it. your what was your career? Your prison career? You had to like do the kitchen, like feed oh, the yeah. guys. You couldn't even talk to the guys. It was useless. <laughs> <laughs> what was the old childhood like? <laughs> What was my childhood I'm like? I'm very wow. curious. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, my childhood was kind of normal. I don't know how I turned out like this, to be honest. <laughs> my mom did the best she could. <laughs> my mom did the best she could. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. People always think, like, something fucked up happened to me. I'm like... No, Only because it to, like, happened to me, school. so I see. <laughs> I went to, like, a Christian school all my life. Like Back in high school, did you only like black guys back then, too? No, I did it like whoever liked me, honestly. Oh, you weren't hot in high school? No. Maybe that's what know. it is. Maybe like Maybe. Cause you, you have ugly girl syndrome. Oh no, I wasn't ugly. That's rude. But you didn't feel <laughs> desirable, maybe. So now you like to like get the maybe the attention now. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think I, yeah. I guess I just like the attention. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No fair. I definitely like the attention. Who doesn't yeah. like attention? Attention's yeah. great. Attention is. Attention. Attention. I can't be like. Oh, I expose everybody, but I hate attention. Like, yeah. Duh. <laughs> duh. I like the attention. It gets intense. I, I don't know Sometimes, how you do it because I can't even, if someone's even mad at me, I'm like, if their text, is there a period on the text? I'm like, oh, wait, are you mad at me? Like, yeah. I'm like, what's happening? Like, are we talking? Oh, is it over? You would have a lot of anxiety being my friend then. I would have I wake so up, much I'm like, anxiety. I hate everybody. <laughs> 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 I'd be mad all the time. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever pissed someone off so bad they kind of like ran up on you or pulled up? Like some shit went down? G Herbo. 
G Herbo. Who's that? Yeah. Who's that? He pulled that up is? on me. Oh, yeah, rapper. You don't know who G Herbo is? What's his song? Who Wants Smoke With Me? Who, who Wants Smoke With Me? me? Mm-hmm. He also has like a lot of other ones, but I don't know them. I don't okay, so them. you pissed G Herbo off. But yeah, like I robbed G Herbo. Oh. Does he know about this now or is he learning about it? Oh, yeah. It? It was, oh, okay. Like Adam um, confirmed it because Juice World told him the story. Hmm. Did, like did you ever fuck Juice World? No, me and him were really cool though. Okay. He cool. wouldn't fuck me because he was cool academics. I was like, ugh, useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happened with G Herbo? Mm-hmm. Um, nothing. I just because I already told this story before, so okay. I'll just like brush through it. But okay, like, sure. basically, I robbed him, <laughs> and then he came. Like somehow, some way, he still to this day won't tell me. We're cool. He won't tell me how he found my address. He pulled up to my house with like guns and everything, threatening to like shoot my dog that was outside. Oh, like banged on my door. I told my mom like call the cops. And the cops came. They took his side, and then they like ran up in my house, and then took everything back. And I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. What exactly did you get out of the... Nothing. No, I mean, what did you steal initially? Oh, yeah. like his passport. We took, um, like, his jeans. What do you do with his like, passport? I don't know. I just wanted it. <laughs> Honestly, I totally get that because I did... I was left in his hotel room. <laughs> I did shit like that when I was younger. Where I just, like, passport? I don't shit. know. I just was like, I needed some type of proof I was with this man. Yeah, oh, just like, okay, just okay. like, you know... <laughs> Yeah, I robbed I Marilyn Manson's point. house when I was 12. Did so. you? Did not you robbed what? it. Not robbed it. He was moving out and mm. I took his pillows and his <laughs> curtains. Yes. And if he's looking at this now, we're in love. Just know that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fuck Marilyn Manson? No, I wish. Why Sorry, were you there babe. when you were 12? <laughs> oh my God. Huh? No, I was there when I was 12 because he lived on the street from me. And my parents Ugh. didn't tell me because they knew that I would try and bang him. And I was only 12. And so when he was moving out, I saw like the mechanical animals. Uh, like there was these like statues. And I was like, oh, my God. I like burst into tears that my parents like hid the fact that the love of my life was living down the street. And then basically went into his house when like basically all the stuff was gone. Took his pillows, took his curtains, licked his toilet oh, seat. Weird shit like that. Did- I did. And that's why when you said the lick the toilet seat thing, I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm one of those people. You, you went <laughs> no, the toilet girl seat? I was talking about did an airplane. Did actually? Yes. Yo, you girls are nuts. You should have found some hair. Or something. See, but some that's the thing is it. I'm not like a famous person person. I don't give mm-hmm. a shit about that stuff. But uh, yeah. we were like bonded by the fact that his lyrics really spoke to a depressed child is what happened. Uh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. You licked the toilet seat that yeah. he sat on. Wait, so you have you Fuck it. have you licked the toilet seat too? No. No. That's kind of weird. I lick ass, but not the toilet seat. You see, I, I wish more I didn't have that available. Ass. So, I mean, no, like, I mean, I feel like I would like Drake's toilet seat if he told me to. So, fuck okay, it. so what's this? What happened with Drake? So something that you sent him nudes and he changed. He changed oh his number. My God. Yeah, he's so rude. Yeah. So what happened? So, oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking about him because. Anyway, <laughs> Tory Lanez. I, I had beef with Tory Lanez for like the longest time. You know, time. I had beef with Tory Lanez. You did? Yeah. Oh my God, we're going to bond. If you look far on his Twitter, you'll see fuck Ryan Pownall. He is a fucking faggot. Sorry, Liam. His words, not mine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Tory Lanez hated me. I was Why? on the Tory Lanez radio thing during quarantine. Yeah. yeah. Quarantine, quarantine, milk, quarantine, quarantine, milk quarantine. Because we're both from Toronto. I knew him before he was big. Oh, I heard you got deported. Is that true? I didn't get deported. They asked me nicely to leave. Anyway, so sorry. yeah, what happened with Tory Lanez? So my Tory Lanez story went, um, actually, oh yeah, we were like on a tour, like a tour bus era. Or so. Something happened with the tour bus and then I was like, fuck, oh, he invited me on the tour bus. And when I got around there, like he stopped answering or whatever. And I was like, fuck you, I'm going to expose you. Mm-hmm. And I was going to leak his number. And then he was like, bitch, I'm going to leak your number. But he leaked my number, and then he said, call me. It's Tory Lane. Oh, I remember that. You do? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. During COVID. Yeah. Well, a year before COVID. Okay. Uh, actually, was it COVID time? I don't know, but we were definitely beefing during COVID because that's when he assaulted me. Anyway. He what? Assaulted me. Rude. Anyway. um, <laughs> What did he assault you it's with? It's on TMZ. Everyone. He beat you up? No, he had a um, stupid girlfriend beat me up. Which girlfriend? I don't know her name. The bitch from Love and Hip Hop, though. Okay. Did she fuck you up pretty good? Or? No. Uh, she just did a little bit of hair pulling. and <laughs> Yeah, that's all she did, bitch. You get her back? Oh, okay. No. No. Oh, knew I was going to sue. Okay. That's why I said if Summer Walker hits me, don't break it up. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So anyway, long story short is he posted my number and said, it's Tory Lanez, call me. And I was like, bet. And everyone was saying to me, I'm like, hi, Tory, Tory. 
one of them was like, how much for a feature? And I was like, a thousand. I'm running a special. That's why I leaked my number. And he sent me a thousand. And I was like, wait a minute. And so I did it to like 10 people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did it to like 10 people. And then yeah, yeah. someone from his camp hit me up and was like, yo, if you really like, I know what you're doing. Because like someone hit up someone from his camp. He's like, if you really want to fuck him over, I know how. And he sent me his Instagram login password. Oh, my God. And I was going through his DMs, and I got all the celebrity numbers, like, all of them. And then the guy had his old phone, too, and he was sending me numbers. That's how I got with, like, Akon, 50 Cent. I got with Snoop Dogg. I got with everyone. So you started fucking people from mm-hmm. hacking Tory Lanez's Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But one of them was Drake. Clever. And so I hit up Drake, and I was like, hey. And I was so scared because and what would you Meek say? Mill, I called Meek Mill, and as soon as he answered, he's like, man, get the fuck off my line. And I was like, <gasps> People know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And I, but what I was like your intro Drake. text? You'd be like, "Hey, I'm hey. a hot girl." No, how I would do it was like, I think I was just acting like I knew them because celebrities meet so many bitches a day that they wouldn't okay, know. Good move. And this is before this was like, I was kind of buzzing, but not super. You know, okay. like, you know. And you'd but, say, "Hey, it's Selena." You, you know, let's- no, I just be like babe miss you or something i don't know i just said like just random shit and then they'd be like oh what's up like, like maybe a cute pic and like yeah new- they're like who's this and i would just send a picture and be like damn you don't remember me and then they would like pick it up from there and they'd be like oh yeah yeah how you been it's good that's how i got akon akon was so easy <laughs> anyway <laughs> so easy i can't picture akon fucking a groupie you know to i feel yeah, like well, it's dick on, is easy in general that. i feel like it's given There's away on the streets how like how easy is it to fuck a rapper <laughs> easiest like thing. the easiest shit in the world rappers are so easy all men are easy to get so dick easy from. i've never i've never had like except for drake i've never like had drake is hard. your white whale and and you know what in toronto <laughs> drake fucks more than me like like fucks ugly girls hot girls he fucks everything no offense so he has just something against maybe me maybe you should just look at the drake camera and make he doesn't want a scandal yeah make your plea to drake but yeah, no, I sent him a picture and he was like, he was like, I know <laughs> he who likes you are and I girls, want no I parts. The ones that make everyone uncomfortable. You remember the line. Yeah, he likes uh, light-skinned mm-hmm. girls with big hair and big ass, mostly. The girls I've seen him around, that's lying. But well, whatever. What do you see? I go to his private parties all the time. And he actually was up in my one of my girls' DMs. Anna Lord, one of the girls on our, he was up in there. Yeah. Oh, and she to pass me too. his number. Oh, you were? Is that the one I love? No, no, she's the one with the big titties, the thicker one. Oh, who's the new blonde one? The new blonde one. Living with you guys. Oh, uh, Lena. Oh. Yeah, she's Hot. teeny little Lena thing, Rose. too. Hottest girl in the world. She, you'd spin her. Oh. Yeah. And you would you, last, like, you, maybe Selena. 59 after seconds. After me? I better be your last. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, Drake, you, you did did you finish the story? What happened? So, he no, won't he fuck you? Me. So, you guys are just friends. I sent him a bit picture, and he was like, I know who you are. I want no parts. And so he's, he said, I want no parts. And then, like, I would text him once a month just to, like, you know, have, like, him think about me. And then one day, <laughs> his number was changed. And I was like, oh. But I got to give it to him. Honestly, Jake, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, baby. I still love you. But I think he changed it because I would give all my homegirls his number. I was like, if I can't have him, I want someone on my team to have him. That'll do so it. So I gave him his number all the time. Yeah. And then when I did the Adam 22 show, he told Adam I was dark and disturbed. <laughs> And I was so sad for years. And then I met him, and then he was hey, nice to me. You guys are friends now? Yeah. I would say we're best friends. <laughs> so I don't have his number, so if you guys have his number, pass it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to make him change it again. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. BlueChew is the unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Cialis, Viagra, and Levitra. But in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or you can just be ready for when the opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. And the best part, it's all done online. So no weird visits to the doctor, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Bluechew's tablets are made in the USA and they're prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Boys, you know me, I don't back products I don't love, and this one is probably my favorite. Blue Chew changed my life, and I want it to change yours. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex, so discover your options at bluechew.com, chew it, and do it. And are they ever hooking the boys up? This is probably the best deal I'll ever offer you guys, you won't believe it. Bluechew.com is offering your first month free. Just pay the $5 shipping and you get free. So that's bluechew.com, promo code PILLOTALK, and you get to try it for free. 
What are you waiting for? You have to do this. Visit bluechew.com for more details and safety information. And we thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the podcast. Boys, do I have something special for you? I got the hookup of the year. Where are my weed boys at? I smoke weed, I take edibles. This is Via Hemp Company, my favorite in the world. I wouldn't partner with them if I didn't fucking love it. I'm addicted to this. This is high love. It is an aphrodisiac weed gummy. And the best part is they ship to all 50 states discreetly to your door in case anyone's. This is the best thing in the fucking world. These gummies here, it invigorates blood flow through your whole body and it uplifts the romantic side of things. This is the only weed gummy in the world that does this. Via hemp, it's unbelievable. And these guys are dedicated to their customers with their third party testing. These are award winning, best in the world, seriously. And you don't need a medical card for this, boys. You just go on their website, you order. We have the description in the bio. Try this at home alone, but I recommend you guys try it with the ladies, seriously. And the best part, I'm giving you 15% off with my code Pillow Talk, or if you click that link, and a free sample. So please use it. It's unbelievable. Via hemp, I'm addicted to this stuff. I'm gonna take one right now. Okay, so who's next? Who's your, your like hit list? I don't even have a hit list anymore because I feel like... How many bodies are we down, you think? I don't know. Do you know I'm making a fuck list this year? A fuck list? So far, I'm at two. Oh, yeah? What yep. a block? <sighs> block. Okay. You're running don't out of worry. the black guys. You might need to... Because Adam was no, what? I'm Last going... year? It oh, was yeah. Adam summer. Was, Adam was in September. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, yeah. and have you done a white boy since? No. Well, you... <laughs> Can't wait. I heard are you, you don't gonna, fucking guess. Smash? If she actually really are wants you really to, gonna, I, I would. Are definitely. you going to let him smash? We'll see what, what do you say let go? him for? I, I mean, because it's up to her, really. <laughs> I have a, um, I'm just like over my like. Or are you more like, like you're more flirty, huh? Really weekend, I'm down to just make out with you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like sex with her it comes with so much baggage, you know? What does that mean? <laughs> I feel like it might be fun. Why don't you guys make out now? Oh my god, no, I'm nervous. Don't do that. You want to make out right now? No, I'm nervous. Uh, I'm nervous. So shy now. <laughs> you know, I honestly don't like saliva. Saliva grosses me out. Don't ever spit in my mouth. Ever. That's the right. first thing I was going to do. <laughs> Ew, that's so gross. I hate saliva so much. Ugh. Uh, I don't know what it is. I can get peed on. All the above. Have you been peed on? Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mid sex so or like after? So I've had both. Pee instead of saliva? Yeah, I don't what know. if there was a Red Bull involved? What are you gonna do to me with the Red Bull? Well, no, I'm saying like <laughs> when you drink a Red Bull, you get like yellow, like toxic urine. I mean, that's what to them what their pee looks like. I don't Smells know. Smells really strong. Oh, I don't know, girl. I don't think I'm like worried about smell. Hey, does this pee smell weird? I don't know. I've gotten peed on like three times. So. I like getting my mouth spit in and my face spit on. Oh yeah, AB likes to spit on my you face. You guys do that? I love getting my like like grabbing by the face. But yeah. now that you've been together so long, like, oh my you don't God. do that on like your Sunday afternoon quickie. Sunday right? afternoon especially. Oh yeah? You have a man? During the news. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, the guy is sitting right there. Yeah, our boy Aaron. Yeah. His penis is on That one? Yeah. No. No, no, he was he was just here. The, the bald guy. <laughs> yeah, the bald guy. Yeah. <clears throat> He's older? Hmm? Or younger. I don't know what he you looks like. You know what? Like. He looks, Aaron, he, 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 he looks 12 looks, years he, older than he is. He looks like an Aaron. I think he's stressed a little. Maybe you stressed him out a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's an Aaron? But he's only 40, right? He's 44? 44, yeah. 44? Yeah. How old are you? Old. Oh, you're old? How old no. are you? <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I'm so old. I'm 28. Oh, is that all? That all? Do I look old? Oh my I God, feel like I've known about you for years. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm like 25, 10 years into so it. you are older than me. I'm just kidding. You're 25? <laughs> no, I'm not, bitch. Oh my god. I'm like, damn. Hey, so where do you like to do all this <laughs> Selena Powell shit? Miami or, or LA? Miami was like my little stomping ground. I actually just moved out of LA. I'm, I mean, Miami. I'm over Miami. Fuck Miami. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I moved to LA today, yesterday. Oh, you're here for good now? Yeah. I moved here so we can be together. Oh. Yeah. Hey, and what, what's Such that? Such a flirt, this one. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm in my chat phase now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if it's, I just you know, wanted, if yeah, it's no, a joke I'm, or not. No, it's I so think... real. I'm dead ass serious. I don't play like that. Oh, okay. Well, so, maybe yeah. we'll go for lunch or something. So no oh, saliva. Can, 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 don't what? spit on my mouth. Okay, can That's you pee disgusting. on <laughs> Wait, did you actually pee on I thought you were just in town for the weekend. No, I posted my penthouse. That's actually your new place? Yes. Yeah, I saw it. I posted it. Nothing I post is lies anymore like that. Oh, I thought you were just staying with a friend, a rich friend. Uh, That's your place? I am the rich friend. Oh. So is your uh, is your OF popping? You making money? Yeah. 
Oh, shout out to Creators Inc. You should do your first. Yeah. Shout out to Inc. Shout out to Creators yeah. My first girl, girl. I mean, I've actually had one girl like eat me out, I guess, because my ex boyfriend used to cheat on me with her. And mm. I was trying to prove a point, which that shit backfired. He thought it was hot. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I like, fucked her. Well, I had her be. fuck me, and I was like, "Okay, you want to like fuck my man, but like I'm gonna put you to work." Right. And just I thought it would like piss him off, and it didn't. That's like the <laughs> setting of a porno. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't piss him off at all. It just backfired. He's like, "This is amazing." It was so uncomfortable. It was so weird. I don't like it at all. So how often are you fucking now? Like are you, once a week? I'm in a dry spell right now. Really? Once a week? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god! Was Do I really give off like a whore persona? Is that a whore? To get fucked once a week by different people? No, not different people. Um, if I'm in a relationship, I'm fucking like 20 times a day. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, you're a little horn dog. Yeah. A little freaky. I like it. Do Especially you, when I'm ovulating. Honestly, when I'm ovulating, that's when I do like the dumbest shit in my life. Then do I you give your man, when you're in love, it. do you just give him a blowjob for no reason? F start to finish? No. Okay. Didn't, yeah, yeah, it didn't take you as a blowjob. Wow, right? I no. have to give blowjobs <laughs> all the time. Over there. <laughs> for lunch. All the time. To, to be fed. If I even, yeah, if I even have sex, like, I've got to blow for, like, 30 minutes. No. Yes. See, uh, What do you mean you got know, Like, he makes you? He makes me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta step it up. He likes my mouth. Damn. He says it's the best. Yeah, and yeah. it's my fault for having such a juicy, deep throat, is what it is. <laughs> We Jeff we set ourselves up. If I gave a terrible toothy blowjob in the beginning, right? Then yeah, I think then I, I wanted no more. I'm like perfect because yeah. I want to suck your dick. Just fuck me. <laughs> but they but but fucking is I like a lot like, of work for them. Yeah. So it's like well, I don't care. So yeah, no, what I, about anal? Do you do you offer the the booty? Oh my god, I had anal sex at a fucking strip club. It was the worst time of my life. At a strip club, strip I was club. so pissed. What happened? <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> It was a fucking pitch? NF. I wish I could say who, but I can't, unfortunately, because he's very, he's around, and I just moved to LA. Like he's around, but this very, 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 very well known NBA player. Oh, Lakers, Clippers. No Heat. Just give us the team. Heat. Oh, the Heat. Yeah, the Heat. Oh. Okay. We're at this restaurant called Jimmy Playa. Buckets. No, yeah. no. I wish I fucked Jimmy Butler. <laughs> I don't know um, anything about sports. I need to get in okay. on this. Oh, the sports people are where it's at. White, white guy? Tyler Hero. No, if I fucked a white man, I would tell you, babe. Okay, thanks, I babe. would never do that to you. Appreciate that, Angel. <laughs> I'm going to tell you everyone I fucked, I promise. All right. But, um... Damn, she's got me, too. I'm I was like, at really? Playa. Do you like me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Playa, this restaurant turned, like, club. Like, a lot of people go there. Like, Moneybag, yo, Ari. Like, everyone who's anyone who goes there. I mean, male feature, everyone. Anyway, just to get a sense of, like, it's that place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially on Wednesdays. I was there on a Wednesday, you know, Wednesday nights that night. Here comes it. Anyway, I'm, like, drunk. I'm, like, I want to go to Booby Trap. Mm -hmm. Booby Trap is, like, the best place in the world. I love it. I get banned, like, every other weekend. So, <laughs> I get banned there all the time. And then the owner, yeah. Anyway, um, long story short, we didn't go there. We went to some other club called Tootsie's, where you, like, get yeah. a private room. You know Tootsie's? I lived in Miami for a couple years. So. Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, big Tootsie's, guys. Did my birthday at Tootsie's. Oh, nice. I hate people who go to Tootsie's. I've never even been in Miami, so really? this is all new to yeah. me. <laughs> you should go. We'll have fun. Mm. Oh yeah, it's, it's no, the, I'm, I'm such an introvert. You'll get me out and I'll cry in the corner because I'm overstimulated. So I don't know if you'll no, have very much fun so with much me. Fun. Don't worry, a couple of shots, you'll have fun. Maybe if you made out with me, that would be cool. <sighs> okay, I will. <laughs> Yo, you want to fuck her? Eh? I mean, I, she's hot. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. Okay, so what happened? Sorry, to sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so then we're drinking in the back. Like we got a room, and then they just started throwing hella money. We're drinking or whatever, and then he was like, "Come with me to the bathroom," and. My New Year's resolutions was to only have one body, and AB was already my one body, so I was like, no, to not fucking nobody. And I looked to my best friend, and she's like, just go, have fun, so much fun, go, go. Oh my God, you sure? She was like, yes, lady, you deserve it, go up and We get to the bathroom, this man fucks me, he was like, yo, like, try to, like, put it in, like, I was trying to help him, he was like, no, 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 I want your ass. I was like, my ass, no, I don't, I've never done it before. <laughs> and then he, like, spit in his hand, ugh, it was disgusting. Disgusting. This was the heat player? Yes. And you didn't like the anal. That sounds no. really painful. That was your first time? Yes, and it hurt so bad. I don't it sounds like rape. It sounds a lot like rape. No, no, no. It wasn't it's... rape. It was okay. rape. I'm it not does sound like rape. It sounds a little salty. But... So, yeah. No, I'm not going to mean to him. Like, no, he's fire. And I just wish he wanted to have, like, vaginal sex. Yeah. So, well, you didn't even put it in your... No, room. not at all. 
Hmm. It was only the ass, and he came him ass to us. Piss. Oh my god! Oh, and then you had to you had to poop it out. The cum. Uh, you don't like, you don't like anal either. cream pies. You only like <laughs> vaginal cream pies. That was my first time doing anal. First and hopefully last. And and what? He never spoke to you again. This guy. No, we still talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gave him anal bathroom pissed. sex on the first time. I'm sure he's gonna yeah, talk. Have really? you done? Have you done the, the vagine yet? Or it's no. that was the only he time. He just likes anal. He might. We don't talk like that. I was just because I was so mad. Like it's like breathe, but mm, I'm not I fucking him again. Ass. I always wonder about guys like that. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, bro, like mm. if you only like <laughs> ass sex, yeah. do you like men too? Yes. I don't know. I don't. People in the industry be gay. They're Let's ask Liam. Kilos. Liam. Guys that only want to fuck girls in the ass, are they closet gays? I don't know, I don't mind. You don't mind? Like, I don't mind if they just like anal. <laughs> I know, but, <laughs> but if they only want to fuck a girl in the ass, they're gay, right? Um, yeah, or it's their thing. Curious. Yeah. Yeah. Curious. I think so. I don't know. I've I think had so. a lot of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I had an old roommate. It's like the playground, and then. <laughs> his girlfriend would say like he would only want blowjobs right under the covers yeah. or yeah. sex from behind, and I'd say that's gay. Oh, whose girlfriends? I can't say who. Oh, but one of my old roommates. He would only do blowjobs under the sheets. Oh, so we can imagine a dude. Yes, or fuck from behind, and, and then now. Wouldn't that be kind of hot though? Like if mm -hmm. you pretended you were a guy, and you're it's still like, and then like you blow your dude, and then he pretends you're a guy, and then you know he's pretending you're a guy. I don't know. Maybe I just figured out a new kink that I might be into. <laughs> There's a lot of them, <laughs> babe. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you. big announcement. For the first time ever on Pillow Talk, and maybe a podcast in the world, we are doing our first ever musical performance. We saw this girl take the internet by storm with her song Liar. Fell in love right away. I sent it to you right away. Yeah. I said, you need to check I've this girl out. Her yeah. Before. She said, I've seen this girl, love her so much. So we messaged her. We asked her to do a musical performance on Pillow Talk. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to introduce Big Clit with a K. Bitch, lying on your dick, lying on your dick. Why you lying on your dick, lying on your dick? Why you lying on your dick, lying on your dick? He be talking shit cause he just wanna what? Why you lying on your dick, lying on your dick? Why you lying on your dick, lying on your dick? Why you lying on your dick, lying on your dick? He be talking shit cause he just really wanna hit. Ah, I smell cat. He said he like cat, but that is not a fact. He keep it in the closet, he keep it under wraps. The only thing my closet got. It's straps, fuck, you a pussy ass bitch Fuck you, your mama and your kids oh, yeah. I hate a lying ass trick Always okay. lying on his dick, you pussy Why you gotta lie, you know that you a lie So insecure inside Be a real nigga, only bitch niggas lie huh? Lying on your dick, lying on your dick Why you lying on your dick, lying on your dick uh, Lying on your dick, lying on your dick he be talking shit cause he just really wanna hit. Why you lying on your dick? Lying on your dick. Why you lying on your dick? Lying on your dick. Why you lying on your dick? Lying on your dick. Huh. He be talking shit cause he just really wanna hit. You said you got them plays, that's a lie. You said you hustle every day, that's a lie. He think he a P, I made him cry. You a slave for this pussy, do not lie. Huh. Fuck! You a pussy ass bitch. Fuck you, your mama, and your kids. Ho! Huh. I hate a lying ass trick. Always lying on his dick, you pussy. Why you gotta lie? You know that you a lie. So insecure inside. Be a real nigga, only bitch niggas lie. <laughs> lying on your dick. Why you lying on your dick? Lying on your dick. Lying on your dick. Lying on your dick. He be talking shit cause he just really wanna hit. Why you lying on your dick? Lying on your dick. Why you lying on your dick? Lying on your dick. Why you lying on your dick? Lying on your dick. He be talking shit cause he just really wanna hit. Hey, it's Big Clip, baby. Put some respect on the bush. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Uh, yeah. If there's one thing I'm forcing you, begging you to try, it's this right here. It's Bathmate. They finally got a dick pump that works. I use this three times a week. My penis is bigger. My penis is longer. My penis is girthier. And I'm not making this up. I swear on my mother's life. This thing changed my fucking life. You fill it up with water in the shower. You go in, in here. You suck it in. And boom. You pop the water out. 
and it pulls your dick, it pulls all the blood cells out of it, and it rejuvenates your fucking cock. I'm not making this up. It changed my absolute life. I fucking love this thing. This is bath me. When you go on, please, Put your real size in, no shame, no one's making fun of you. I put my real size, I don't give a fuck. I'm not a huge dick, I am now. I'm gonna have to order a bigger one now because I swear to God my penis grew a little bit this way but a lot that way and I walk around with so much more fucking confidence. The best part of using Batme is you get an instant bigger cock after your first use. Every guy should use this, no matter how big your cock is. If you're nine inches, you'll be 10. If you're five, you'll be six. This is just a godlike rock star experience for your penis and for the girl's vaginas. We have a link below. Please click it, please order it. This changed my life and I want it to change yours. Send me a DM, send me a dick pic if you want of how much bigger it got after using Batmate. Batmate, thank you, I love you. You wanna know what changed my life? This right here, Popstar. I've been taking them every single morning for the past two months. I just got a fresh new bottle. Changed my absolute life. You boys need to try it. This is doctor developed. It's stronger, more intense orgasm. Sex has been so much more pleasurable for me and my, now that I'm single, multiple partners. It increased my confidence in the bedroom and I have larger, more ejaculate semen loads. And the best part, my ladies love this. When I do a little facial, my cum tastes like pineapples. It's healthy, it's doctor tested. These people that made this are geniuses. Doctors made this stuff. And the best part, if you don't love it, if you don't adore it as much as I do, they're given a 60 day money back guarantee, so it's risk free. So I wanna thank you genius doctors that created this. Boys, please try it, I really encourage it. Money back guarantee, popstarlabs.com, code pillow talk, get 20% off, I hooked the boys up. Please try this, it's fucking incredible. Welcome to the show, Big Clay. That, that was, was yeah. my favorite fucking thing we've ever done on the that show. That was awesome. Yay. Yeah, yeah. That song spoke to me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's your new theme song. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, so tell us, what, what is that song about? Obviously, you know, lying on your Who dick. Who hurt you? Is that a true story? <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, it was about my ex. It's a mm. funny story. It wasn't really about him, but he was fucking with one of my friends. Uh. And I went through his phone. And I wasn't hurt, but she was like, why are you lying on your dick? I was like, okay, I'm going to take that and make some money off of mm -hmm. that bitch. Oh, she <laughs> said that to him. Yeah. Because he told her I have a huge dick. No, she was like, why? I know you're still fucking click. Uh. I know you're still fucking because I broke up with him and like. Oh, I thought she, it meant he, lying about how big it is. That's what I thought it meant. No, no he's I, lying about like lying on your fucking, dick. Like you're like, lying, you're lying fucking. who you're fucking. Yeah. Oh. But look, lying on your dick can be like, many different things. You can say that you're fucking me. That's you lying on your dick. Oh, I thought it meant, hey, I have a 10 inch dick. Come fuck yeah. me. Then you come and you're like, you're lying on your dick. That's what I thought it meant. That too. Okay. <laughs> That's dick fishing. I have a lot of. I've been through that as well. I also have a lot of hate hating men songs. Or I don't. I don't hate men. Yeah, she's a the, successful. But it's always rapper. angry killing dudes in my music. I don't know why that happens, but oh I've God, killed I maybe three. You know, I asked her to perform also, and, and she, <laughs> she. I will she. perform, but I just didn't know what the setup was and everything, and I was like, I don't want to take her thing. Like, right. I want her to. You do should her have. Thing. She's yeah, good. She's good. good. Um, yeah. But is the clit large? Is what I really wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> or is it just like like big dick energies, like big clit energy? Well, or the real question is, is your clit small? Yeah, it's very wow. small. Mm. But mentally, I have a clit the size of like Atlantis. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the thing. So you have yeah. a big clit? That's what it is. No, I have a very little clit. It's hard uh. to find. But, uh. It's, uh, but I am into big clits. Can you stop trying to fuck Sorry, all our I'm guests? Trying to fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Who would never want? lie on my yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah. 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 getting pissed. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but the big clip thing, we're going to leave that anonymous? Oh, yeah, that's anonymous. Okay, we'll never know. Are you on OnlyFans? No. You should oh, be. Oh, so you're never going to let anyone know if yeah. it's actually big. No. Oh. But big clip, I noticed you took a break in putting music out, what, a couple years, right? No, I just dropped... <laughs> Like a few months ago, uh, I stayed. But there was a gap, music. is what I mean. No, there's never been in, a gap. in your YouTube videos. No. No. No, I'm extremely consistent. Oh, excuse me. She's like, shut the fuck. I'm up. so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think this is probably the longest though. It's and that's been like three months. Oh wow. Okay. My yeah. bad, big clip. Mm -hmm. My bad, big clip. And we we saw that you were working with Universal Music. Sony. Liam. Mm-hmm. I see. I, I saw you go viral before he sent me the thing. He said, oh, I'm, you know, she's going to be on. And then he showed me the video. I'm like, I've been seeing this everywhere. It's actually dope. Yeah, the video is everywhere. Yeah. I love some angry shit, dude. It makes me just want to fucking like snap necks and poison people. Because so that I one it. went viral. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, box that one. Me up. Right, that yeah. box one went crazy. Yes. And then I, I was like, I thought that was the music video. But that was your live performance. Yes. And then the video, you're cutting a banana. 
Yes. Which obviously is, you know, cutting the guy's dick. Yes. Yeah. Love it. I like that. It wasn't well, even crazy. my idea. It. it was the producers. It's <laughs> 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 like, let's go. And how about now? You have a, a boyfriend? No. Oh, single. Yeah. Okay. Because mm-hmm. and, and look, I'm a little scared of you because when we researched <laughs> you, we saw, you know, it says, and not that I'm a misogynist, I'm not. We big up the women. We big up the guys. <laughs> Always oh, respectful. God. But you know, <laughs> we, we saw, you know, super feminist, you know. Uh, he was scared. He's terrified of you, yes, is yeah. what he's saying. Yeah. So, okay. You hate men? No. No, she she hates men that hate women. Oh, like Andrew Tate? He's not my favorite. <laughs> but it's not really about hating. It's just about uh, being fair. And I feel like a lot of things are unfair for women. So if you're Facts. an unfair person, I don't fuck with you, men or women. Feminism's more about equality rather than I think oh. when guys hear feminists, they're automatic. Oh, she's like gonna have like hairy armpits or whatever, <laughs> which is fine. Also, <laughs> and the whole point is, you know, like I think it's just people wanting equality. Feminism is equality. That's what it's supposed to be. The but there are some weirdos, but you know, mm-hmm. they're they're not actually feminists. They're just angry, maybe. Yeah, that's why I don't really uh, call myself a feminist. Mm-hmm. I don't can't really speak too much on that. I just I'm just myself. I and, like that. Um, yeah, I have a mouth and I have an opinion. And men hate that, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like I'm always beefing with men, never women. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I guess you could say I hate men. I don't know. I'm not trying to. I don't start the beef. They do. Are you bisexual with women? Too? I'm also interested in this. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I'm asking for Viking. Um, bisexual. I'm definitely bisexual. Yeah. You're definitely. Yes. Who would it be if I'm a girl? I'm bisexual. I don't know, me. I don't know what the fuck. And so she's cool a little crazy too. Me. So she, so you're my type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get serious. You get serious. Yeah. No, I, I never know what to say. We're in love. You're not bisexual. <laughs> wow. I yeah, wanted, yeah, I, I was you. really I like disappointed as well. Guys are disgusting. <laughs> What's so cool about a guy? I don't know. I just love dick. You know, a dick and balls. They're disgusting. <laughs> Men are I awful. I, I I could never be gay. No offense, Liam. And I don't get why girls are even straight. I don't understand why mm. anyone's straight. To be yeah. honest, I feel I, like girls are just. Uh, I just love it all. I mean, am I a selfish person? Maybe you know. Mm. I just like it. Just the like balls, the selfish. wiener, the vagina. It's all good. So big clip. Have the, those are medical terms, by the way. <laughs> so have you crossed paths with her hit list? Because she's you know she's been with all the rappers. Okay. I fucked rappers. Have you fucked a rapper? Um. No. Not not many. Good. I mean, like athletes. No. She's YouTubers? a rapper. <laughs> no. I'm extremely antisocial. I really don't fuck with nobody because I are. hate humanity. Falling in love over here. Like, I gotta be honest. <laughs> okay. I Damn. really crawl in my cave like a fucking spider and, <laughs> like, How are we doing? Bite people. Are we on the hate list? No, you guys are cool. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. really not. <laughs> See, you scare men. I'm not scared at 100%. all, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so back to Selena a little bit. Selena, who was the last person you had sex with? Um, I think it was, uh, fuck, it was the guy from Tootsie's, I think. Who? The guy from Tootsie's, I think. But like, oh, the Heat player. Vaginally, I think it was <laughs> AB. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed about that. Okay, so what's happened? And Antonio Brown is who we're talking about. Yeah, Antonio Brown. He hates me right now, though. You see that he posted me and said "cracker of the month." I did see that. That's yeah. when I realized I'm going after Chad's from now cracker on. Cracker of the month is that a racial thing? <laughs> yeah, he calls white people crackers. He's so Are you rude. white? Well, yeah. But he's so rude, babe. He only did that because. Yeah, I always see him do like be very mean to. It's because she drives him fucking nuts. Yeah. People think it's the CTE from concussions. It's Selena. Oh, he definitely has CTE, babe. Like, I one day I just asked him like one question. I was like, so what did? Oh, it's because that girl Eva Willie said that she made him quit the NFL or something like that. And I was like, so what's up with her saying this? And he was like, no, that's not true. And then gave me like a whole. Three hours of conversation at the end. He basically said he quit the NFL because Tom Brady wouldn't pass him the fucking ball. That's what he said? Yes, I swear to God, he said that. Okay. He wow. has major beef with Tom Brady, bro. Like, major. You hear that, Tom he Brady? was like, me and Tom Brady were talking and he told me he was going to pass me the ball. And then I guess he wasn't performing well and the coach was like, he went on the sidelines and the coach was like, get in, get in. And then he was like, no. And then the coach was like, okay, leave. And then he was like, 
and then took off his jersey and ran across the field. So you were dating him while he did that? No. I've known Antonio for a long time. And then recently I was going to go do like a bullshit ass reality TV show. And I was talking to him. And then he was like, come over and talk. It was like right by him. And then we fucked. And then we just got super close after that. And then I would say like we were dating. Like he literally took me to like his son's basketball game. Okay. Like he took me bowling. Like we were like. This is like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah that's like, this is like shit. Twilight. Like wifey shit. Really, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I was like really like of course I was son like watching his son though, play basketball. Like oh my god, I'm like a little sports mom. <laughs> 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 so all that happened, and then he had a concert, and he was like, "Baby, like I want you to go to my show." And I was like, okay, I went to a show. Poor thing, he only had like 13 people show up for his well, concert. Well, it was an early set. Was it Coachella? No, it was his own show. Because didn't he perform at Coachella No, no one came to the, his show, his no, own show? No, he had a show at Electric Lady in Miami. But he did do Coachella. Coachella hasn't been done to this year. No, last year he did Coachella. I don't know. I wasn't with him. Uh, music okay. festivals are my nightmare. This was like November <laughs> to <laughs> January. Okay, okay. Oh, it's recent. Um, yeah, recent. Okay, okay. okay. Recent, like, <laughs> beginning of November to end of January. So you've only been with Antonio Brown since he lost his mind? Yeah. Okay, got it. He lost well, his mind? I, yeah. I kind of fucked with him during the NFL, but I don't think I ever met him. I don't think I ever met him. Fun fact, and then, he was in my DM once. I didn't want to say this. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> this, was, this was a couple years ago. You guys weren't together. Uh, I didn't okay. respond because it's I would okay. never respond. <laughs> no, he's actually I don't really a lot like of people. I didn't people get that vibe. I could me. Find <laughs> one girl. Me. So, Big Clay, who has the best chance of, of dating you? Are guys scared of you? Um, I'm... Just, I don't know. It's got to be a real alpha man. Put you in your place, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I love alpha men. That actually will not work with me. I've been with a lot of alpha males, and they um get jealous of me. Mm. I don't know. Then they start trying to be me. It's right. weird. It's because you're attracting guys that have that feminine energy kind of thing, and then they just become like, I totally have had that happen. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. My, actually, my, my ex is now a woman. <laughs> That's not a lie. Really? I, yeah. Like, I literally was with this person for eight years. They're actually one of my best friends now. But um, she. she's <laughs> she's a woman now. Mm. And, like, I was like, that makes so much sense. Yo, you girls Good fuck guys them. up. Yeah. They yeah. Finally live in you their really best fuck life. guys yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. That's was what he should have done too. from the beginning. Yeah. And would have probably saved a lot of bullshit. Yeah, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of red flags that I was like, <laughs> okay, this is strange. But then now I'm like, oh, no, it's not strange. That's normal. Okay, now we're going to play a segment, two segments, okay? <clears throat> okay. One is by uh, Popstar. It's called Top Pops. And it's for all three of you ladies. I want you to tell us your wildest cum shot experience. Cum shot. That's right. Someone else go first. Mike and Barbie. Let me think. Wildest cum shot? Yeah. Like on camera or in real life? Ah, it could be both. <laughs> Inside of me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I don't the get wild in the In the big clip. In the, on Did the it actually <laughs> becoming a baby? Oh, yeah. I have a kid. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Cute kid. Oh, yeah. You made Thank a miracle. You. So that is yeah. the greatest kid's come like shot old. of all. <laughs> or like five? Uh, no, one. Oh. Yeah, one. And I'm like five months pregnant right now. No huh? way. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just sit down on here? <laughs> yes, I did, actually. Oh, That's awesome. Oh, my God. You wow. just got a baby on set. Good for you. I love it. <laughs> wow. Uh, mine was just she an eye. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make any life. <laughs> I was really trying to think of when it was. No, that's time. true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of. Wow. I know you got a crazy <laughs> one. No, just my ass. Oh, yeah, you came in your ass in the bathroom. There we go. I feel like everyone had like the normal eye cum shot, like getting in your eye and your hair, like, ooh. Okay, and. What would be a crazy cum shot? I think. Sorry, my cum shot is so boring to you. (laughs) Yeah, like. You know, fun fact, by the way, when it stings in your eye, did it sting? It stings like hell. So the semen, the sperm, are trying to find the egg. They think they're in the pussy. They're trying to impregnate my eye? Yes, and they're going, they're trying to get in your eye. That's why it goes red. (laughs) It's all golf loaded. If you put a magnifying glass, they're trying to go inside your eye. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've never yeah. eaten yeah. Yeah. Heard of this. this is true. This is true. How about that? Yeah, huh? that's pretty. You learned something weird. new. Okay, and our next that's segment. Not real. I have to look that no, up. No, that is real. That is real. Google it. Yep. And our next segment. <laughs> 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 that's true, Terry. Confirmed. Danny Daniels told us that, right? 
No, Alina Lopez. Alina Lopez. That's freakish. <laughs> That's kind of alien and cool yeah. in a way. <laughs> okay, and our next segment is by Jerkmate, our title sponsor. Uh, so you're going to pretend it's new. It's called Jerkmate Cam Star. And you're going to pretend that you're a cam girl, okay? Viking Barbie and Big Clit are going to pretend that they're in a cam to cam session with you. And okay. they have a fetish, and you're on cam. So I have a really big fetish yeah. for um, have you ever heard of Incubus? Where like a ghost fucks a chick. Yeah. Okay, that's fucking hot. <laughs> and I've always wanted mm -hmm. it to happen to me, but I can't. So I just want to see it happen to you. So <coughs> can you show me your best ghost fuck? Uh huh. He's coming in there. He's ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's he's over you now. Yeah, he's oh. inside me right now. Oh, yeah? Uh, Is it big? It's so big. <laughs> it's like 10 inches. 10, ten inches of air. <laughs> yeah. mm. Thanks, Daddy. Oh, yeah! He just came. The ghost came quick. Yo, Selena. <laughs> Yo, she's fucking hot, eh? Yeah. I get it now. Oh I get it. God. Ruined my life. Now, if you want to see girls like her on cam, head over to Jerkmate. We have the link below giving you the promo code for $10 free to go try out Jerkmate. It's the best site in the world. Never jerk off alone again. Jerkmate, baby. Okay, <laughs> okay daddy. <laughs> I love her. I have a cop. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Thank you. It's the ghost cock. Okay, so we're way over yeah. our time now. Should, should we keep going? What do you guys think? <coughs> Up to you. Up to you. Viking? Um, Let's do another 510, right? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all yours, baby, all night. Okay, Viking, take it away. She's really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, who has uh, the weirdest tattoo? Like, the best tattoo? I feel oh like God. one of you has, like, something that's wild. <sighs> Both of you. Yeah, tell us about your you tattoos, Big Clit. Yeah, I felt like you're you really curious about what's going on. I have a lot. My favorite, though, my craziest one's probably on my ass. It says the devil's daughter. Wow. Yeah. Did you have like a wild upbringing? She uh, said she was, everything was normal. Yeah, Christian school. She said her mom did her best. She <laughs> That's did. what she said. <laughs> she tried. Yeah, yeah. What inspired yeah. the devil's daughter? Yeah, the devil's daughter. The, yeah. The, um, I don't know. I felt like the devil was a bad, rebellious motherfucker, and I would just be the baddest bitch. So True. I would—that would be my daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> he rebelled. He ended up. Yeah, he was an angel. I like that. Yeah, I like that. So you know, you must have some of your fuck pieces tattooed, right? Oh yeah, a lot of them. Okay, let's see. But no. Um, I think my stupidest tattoo is getting like, it was like a lick back. I have a, my ex boyfriend's cousin's name on me. Hmm? Ex boyfriend's mm -hmm. cousin's yeah. name? Did he? Did I he... never even met him. And I <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I'm so stupid, bro. Hey, so yeah. what happened with Antonio just, Brown? You were gonna face tat. That's why I got Cracker of the Month. Okay, so what happened? So I was tr I was saying, like, I did. I went to a show, poor thing, only had, like, 13 people. <laughs> and I was so bored. And he's, like, a princess, bro. He's such a princess getting ready. It takes him hours to get ready. He was late to the show. Okay. I was there, like, waiting like a dumbass. I was like, bro, I'm leaving. Fuck you. And he's like, if you leave, don't ever talk to me again. And I was like, don't care, bye. Because we always do that. And he really blocks me everywhere. And so I told him, I was like, baby, I'm going to get your name tattooed if you unblock me. And then he was like, you get everyone's names tattooed to you. I want my face on you. Okay. And I was like, okay. And we weren't talking. Like, he would not reply to me unless I got it. And so one day I was just at a tattoo place, coincidentally. And I was like, fuck it. Let's fake it. And we faked it. And then he went live. And he was like, baby, join my life. Join my life. Join my life. And I was like, okay, but I just woke up. I'm not putting my face on the camera. He was like, okay. I went live and he was like, show the face tattoo. And I was like, I'm sleeping, babe. I'll call you back. And I like got off the live and he was like, show me the fucking face tattoo. And I was like, oh my God. And obviously I didn't have it. And then oh my God. he kind of, he kind of realized I didn't have it. And then he put me on blast on social media and, and, and he never talked to me again. So you guys haven't spoken since? No. I thought you said that was your boyfriend in there. Oh, he is. Well, he is. <laughs> how, how long has this been going on? Fuck with me. <laughs> Like since January twenty. Oh, it's, oh, I think you guys are done. I know. Take it over it. 
<laughs> he blocks my number and everything though. I don't want to get a hold of him. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of like like telegraph machine or something. You want to call? Well, him I mean, on if my I phone? really, yeah. yeah, can I? Yeah, yeah. his number is. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, you you want to leak his number for everyone? No. Okay. 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 I get in trouble legally for that. Right. I learned the hard way. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> People are threatening me, but um. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was he was a good he was a good person, I guess. How's his dick? Good dick? Oh yeah, it was fire. It's yeah, so good. It's so big. It's so great. Right. Okay. I'm sorry, babe. It's cool. I know your dick is gonna be better though. No, he's more of an average. No. Is what I heard from him. Yeah. Can average. I see it? You want to see my dick? Okay. After the show. I'll, I'll show you right now. Show oh, right okay. now. I would. Wait, like no. To... Why are you gonna show everyone else your dick? You're rude. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see it? No, I don't want. I don't want. Let me see how see it looks dick. right now. There's different variations, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it depends how hungover I am, tired, dehydrated. Is know? it, but it's like Adam's, like average? No, I, pff, Adam's <laughs> is not average. Adam, Adam has a huge eight inch dick. a big dick. Yeah. That's average. Oh God. Ouch. We're done, baby. <laughs> We're going back to Lupu. <laughs> oh my God, you're littler than Adam? Yes. Like how little? Littler little. than Adam. <laughs> how little? Dude, isn't is Adam? It, is yeah, it, Adam is like eight thick. inches, right? And it's thick, right? Yeah, Adam is eight inches. Adam's fire. I'm Dude, fuck. prolapse my fucking cervix, yeah. bro. Wait, did you fuck Adam? No, oh, but okay. I don't know. You should. Like having like. <laughs> Big Clit, do you care about dick size? Oh does God, size yes, matter to you, Big Clit? It does. Size matters to everyone. Are you dumb? Yeah. Oh, shit. I've like, All right, I guys, great show it. today. <laughs> He's going to go cry now. <laughs> I hate when people say size don't matter. Yes, it does. Well, at least I'm not so, lying on my dick. I do believe that there is a Facts, marriageable okay. dick. I personally think that if you have a dick that's too big all the time, you're going to fucking have issues because you can't fuck all the time. Right. Personally, me. No, well, Aaron has a nice cock, though. It's nice, but I mean, it's, it's a marriageable penis. You, you know what I mean? Him. Okay. Like, oh, he's not like, like, oh, you're a man? Sorry. Yeah. If it was like fucking 10 <laughs> inches, I would literally be fucked up all the time. Like, that's crazy. I couldn't do it. Shit. Okay. Yeah, but but yeah. once in a while, you know. It's I like mean, the vacation. Can't vacation. Too big, huh? There can't be too big. The last person I fucked yeah, was it, AB. But... <laughs> huh? Sorry, I was just thinking about that. Like the craziest thing I, that just happened. It was actually Tristan Thompson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I fucked him and then I did like a handstand to try to get pregnant. Didn't you know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> Why? Because you're trying to get pregnant? She saw the whole way home I was there. Yeah. This isn't a lie. <laughs> yeah. I had a hosting in DC. And Ironically, he was there, and I was like, ah. and then he was like passing me a shot, and I was like, oh, I should never. And then yeah, we fucked, and then he nutted inside me because I told him I only do that, yeah. and he nutted inside me and the whole way home. I was like trying to get like the sperm to go down. <laughs> Maybe we got it in your eye. <laughs> yeah. No, it does. It does. I swear to God. Well, if it doesn't, obviously, because I'm not pregnant. <laughs> So no one else can here likes. Can I use like, your pee stick? <laughs> oh, God, yeah, you can. I'm telling pregnant. Yeah. So you're not like kind of you're not kind of turned on by like a micro penis, just a little bit, just like the no, idea not, of it. No, no. Am I the only one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like Why do we always get into this? Yeah, yeah, you do. You like micro penis? Not micro penis. Mm -hmm. Like yes. But oh, you should put London on the track then. He'll just push No, no, because how was how was London? So what was it? It's terrible. Maybe, Maybe academics, academics too. Go after him. No, it's, it's got to be like an, a you robust that? man. Yeah. So you heard yeah. that? Hey, but I fucked <laughs> academics for like three years. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, did you? Wow. Yes. A micro penis to you like is man. like five inches. And he's not packing? He's like an average guy. <laughs> yeah, five inches. That's no, tiny. hell no. That's tiny. I is like yeah. four. You think five inches is okay? I said, no. I said, you probably think a micro penis is like five inches, which is, is like an average. No, micro penis. Have you ever five? been on your own? I know, right? They, there's like, some that are like no, some there's respect. like some button there's like little ones. Oh, By yeah. the way, I do great small penis those humiliation. Are like, <laughs> those are like chodes. Just send me called? all your little dick videos. Thanks. <laughs> 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 oh, you do like dick humiliation. You know only one percent of guys have over uh seven inch dicks. And she's one percent found them yeah. all. I found them all. <laughs> yeah. One percent. Just so you guys know. Oh, it's okay, baby. What size are you? Just give me like a ballpark. You're not interested. It's no, like a, I am interested. <laughs> it's like a. It's, I also take personalities. It's like into seven it. inches, like six, seven. Right? It's like, no, it's it's I like a five and three quarter. Five and three quarter. It's like an average. But I'm funny. I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you laugh. Ack, Ack was like three. Oh, it clenches God. your vagina while. So if he makes you laugh while you're inside, maybe it'll like. No, Ack was small as fuck, but I loved him, so it grew. You know. 
Right, exactly. Yeah. You make them fall in love. That's why I'm a love bomber. Dude, All right, good show. Honestly, I love love bombers. I don't see why anyone wouldn't love me after like two days. Wait, you loved him so you could fuck him with a small dick. Yeah, right. I yeah. can't do that. I love somebody until I saw his dick, and then it really made it all go away. No, I can understand that. No, if you yeah. have like, if you that's like, terrible. Whoa, that's terrible. I was like, damn, that sucks. Because how so small perfect, was it? Show me with your hands. Work. So if he had a good dick, you would have like married the guy, maybe. Damn, yeah, he was so perfect. And like, that was it. You, you never talked to him again. The dick. Um, was he I rich? Mean, I let him linger. But how, show me with your hands. Oh man, it was like. And that was too small? You ended it? Yeah. Big clit! What about the girth? Was the girth good? Uh, no. The girth, girth matters too. Like good. A... The girth matters. It was, it was not good. The it was just like matters. really tiny pencils. These small, girls are a tough like, crowd. If I had a penis oh right God. now, it would be really sweating. Bad. That's terrible. <laughs> that is mean, Big Clay. Yeah, and that I didn't even feel like... I couldn't... Was, was he rich though? Feel. Um, yeah, he made money. Money, money, money and funniness grows the dick. So I wonder if you guys are just more like uh, penetration <laughs> people because yeah, I'm a you literal you person. Like I, I got my own little yeah. little yeah. Yeah. Like money don't matter to me. Yes, you got I feel like as long as I get my clip played with, I really don't ever need penetration more. again. <laughs> <laughs> You feel like a 10 inch dick to me. You could do one of those extenders. They have extenders. You I'm not getting an shot. extender. What? There's a rubber Ash extender shots? you can put on your penis, he's told me. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, the only trick I do, big clit, I'll show you, okay? So Are you going to show like the wristwatch? No, the point five. So look, that, that's, say that's my penis. I was going to say, okay. do you zoom out? <laughs> look, look, and now look at the angles. Oh, okay. Now, and you were bitching about catfish. You see that? Uh -huh. You're dick fishing me. So I sent a lot of dick pics. So yeah. you'd be lying on you your I'm lying on my dick. And so you really felt that when she was saying that, and then you're like, oh, good, it wasn't about that. Yes, exactly. I, I, thought, I thought it was about me. <laughs> wow, you that's know? why you're scared. And huh? I was like, oh, it's my point five like, lens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Damn. Okay. I'm going to see some dick now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, what an episode. Hey, congrats on your pregnancy. Thank you. Thank this you for doing this. It's and Big girl. Clit, tell us about oh. your music, where, where we can, you know, what's coming next, or your new album that just came out. Uh, yeah, well, you could stream Big Clit everywhere on all platforms. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I got lots of different styles. You'll love it. Fucking right. Mm -hmm. Fucking right. Oh, I'd like to, uh, there's another song I saw you on the beach. What was yeah, that Yeah, What That Mouth Do. What That Mouth Do. Mm -hmm. I can show you. <laughs> I'm basically like a 45 year old trucker in a hot chick's body so I'm just using that that's what's happening okay uh, Selena Powell legend she's here all weekend she's gonna have a fucking field day at Rolling Loud this weekend I can't fucking wait she's gonna fucking suck all you motherfuckers I hope Viking Barbie and I'm Ryan and we'll see you next Tuesday